What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a review of the off-white collaboration with Nike on the Blazer Mid in the All Hallows Eve colorway. These dropped today, October 3rd, for 130 US dollars or $175 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Canvas, Pale Vanilla, Black, and Total Orange. So this is the latest release between Nike and Virgil Abloh's off-white label, and this colorway released alongside a black colorway which was nicknamed the Grim Reapers. Together, both shoes released as part of the Spooky Pack in celebration of the upcoming Halloween holiday. Here in Canada, these were available in limited numbers online at Nike.ca. They were also available at select boutiques such as Essence, Livestock, and Haven. So I personally took an L, but my fiance once again was able to come clutch and she won a pair at Livestock. To be honest though, it seemed like the stores had a ton of pairs floating around. I saw a lot of people that won multiple pairs, some people even won 5 or 6 pairs between the different stores. For an off-white release, that seems pretty unheard of, but regardless, I'm happy that I was able to score my pair. So these off-white blazers come in your standard off-white Nike box. This is all done in brown with Nike swoosh at the top in quotations. We have the size label at the front, and then a bunch of text with off-white branding on the side. Inside, this also remains unchanged, so we have the exterior of your typical Nike sportswear box on the interior, and then we have this special Nike and off-white branded paper. As for the shoes themselves, so this is your classic blazer mid silhouette. A good chunk of the shoe is constructed using ballistic mesh, and this is visible around the toe box area. Found on the outer half of the toe box, we have this rubber toe cap, which is done in this canvas color, and this is done in the same color as the midsole. On the lateral side of the shoe, the majority of this is constructed out of ballistic mesh, and then glued on top, we have this oversized orange colored Nike swoosh. You'll see towards the back end of the swoosh on the lateral side only, we have this signature flap that's found on the other off-white Nike shoes. This time, instead of the signature orange color, this is done in green which gives it a very nice contrast when compared to the orange. The panels found on the back end, this is constructed using a synthetic leather that honestly has a bit of a plasticky and cheaper feel to it. As I flip this over to the medial side, so you'll notice that this is different from the lateral side. So the portion that's closer to the front of the shoe, this is made out of suede, and then the remainder of the medial side is constructed out of leather. Once again, we have this oversized Nike swoosh in orange, and then we have the signature text that reads, Off-White for Nike, Nike Blazer Mid, Beaverton, Oregon, USA. You might not be able to see this, but there are perforations on the text itself. This forms the shape of a swoosh, and this is outlining where the swoosh typically is on your normal blazers. And of course, this wouldn't be an off-white sneaker if it didn't have the signature zip tie. So this time, the zip tie isn't red. Instead, it's done in this powder blue color. As we move on to the back of the shoe, so at the very top, we have the word Nike debossed into this suede, and then outlining this rectangle piece of suede, we have this unfinished foam, which is similar to the foam found on the tongue, which we'll touch upon later on in the review. You'll also notice that the bright orange swooshes connect to one another, and then underneath this, I'm not exactly sure what this material is, it sort of has like a fibery plastic feel to it, and then printed on top, we have some sort of serial number with the sizing information printed at the end. Running up the center area of the shoe, we have the eyelets which are reinforced and covered with a suede. And then as for the laces themselves, so they're a flat style lace with the signature shoelaces branding on the edge. And these also come with a secondary pair of laces, this time they're done in green. For me, I was kind of hoping for a third set of laces, either in white or in orange. Underneath the laces we have the tongue, so this is a mesh tongue that's padded inside with foam. At the very top of the tongue we have this unfinished edge. We have this bright orange stitching crossing the width of the tongue, and then on the lateral edge, we have this tag which has this Nike sportswear branding. So the inner liner of this shoe is done in the same tonal color as the rest of the upper, and then taking a look at the insoles, so these come with a canvas colored insole with the off-white logo and the 10 branding on the heel in black. As I flip these over to the bottom, so here we have your classic blazer outsole. This is entirely done in this one color, and it has this herringbone traction running throughout the length of the outsole. From a sizing standpoint, so blazers I find fit pretty true to size, however if you do have really wide feet, you might want to consider going up a half size. These do kind of fit similar to Chuck Taylors in the sense that they're a bit longer and narrow, but if you have narrow or even slightly wide feet, I think sticking true to size should be okay. So for me, my feet measures as a true size 10, only slightly on the wider side. I pick these up in a size 10 and they fit me pretty much perfectly. Comfort wise, so these are originally a shoe from the 1970s. The cushioning pretty much is non-existent, except for the added padding found on the insole. So with that said, I wouldn't say that these are that comfortable by any means, and I'd compare them similarly once again to the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star.
So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. So I never got the original pair of the off-white Nike blazers, and while I find the originals to be the best blazer to release so far, I think these ones come in at a close second. I really like the departure of this color scheme, it's a big step away from the traditional whites or blacks that I usually wear, and the splashes of color with this orange and the green gives it a very playful look. So for me, I don't even need the Grim Reapers, I'm really happy getting this pair alone, but I'm curious to know what you guys think between the two colors. Which one of the two do you guys prefer, and were you guys able to grab a pair or pairs this morning? As always, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and be sure to visit my website at seangoca Before I sign off, if you guys are wondering, the hoodie that I'm wearing is courtesy from the good people at Tight Knit Clothing. So they're a local Toronto streetwear company doing some good things, so be sure to check them out. I'll add their social media, their website, all that good stuff down in the description box below. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.